This morning we are going to do a food tour here in the historic city of Girona. We are doing the tour with Girona Food Tours and they say we're essentially going to taste our way through the entire city. to cross now one of the most iconic bridges in Girona. Eiffel and company themselves, they built this bridge 20 years before the Eiffel Tower. Our first stop on the food tour is going to be Casa Moner here at my back. You're going to have a very nice coffee with the most iconic pastry in Girona, the shushu. This is a plaque that's, that you'll find in certain bakeries in Girona that certifies the place as an artisanal bakery from the Girona province. on the menu today is shushu, which is a local pastry filled with cream, deep fried and covered in sugar. So I've been told the way to eat this is to uh, wrap a napkin around it and to sort of just eat it like a burrito. So let's try it. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of like a big donut. It's a bit messy. <laughs> We're stopping by another of the certified artisanal bakeries in Drona, this is based on that. It's a family owned business. Come here. It's called the farmer's bread. Pan de pages. This bread is the most traditional type of bread that we have here in Catalonia. So at the second bakery we're visiting, we are tasting some very traditional and very popular Catalan bread. So it's freshly baked. We know all your own that's how. I remember when I all day. Our next stop is the local market here in Girona. It is called Lion's Market in English. This is where all the local people of the city go to shop. We are very loyal customers. So, um, it's taught from parents to kids. And the thing is that if my mom takes me to a market and teaches me that we only go to buy meats from Joan. We're always going to buy meat from Joan. When I grow up and I have to feed my own family, I'm going to buy meat from Joan. Because doing otherwise would be like treason. producer, this is Paco, our local vendor, <laughs> and they specialize in buying from very small uh, producers that they cannot afford their own stall, so they give them an outlet for their products. Yeah, it's, it's made from this fruit that looks like a lemon, but it's huge, yeah. like this big, so we have to boil it, put sugar on it and make a paste out of it. So well, something that we serve for dessert, and it's served in restaurants with money. It's a mix, it could be described as the in between. Uh, yogurt and cheese. It's also unfiltered. What we're tasting here, a little bit of a very similar type of olive that, uh, you know, the olive oil that was made of. This is a very typical summer dish in Catalonia. It's cachada, shredded codfish, and we make a salad out of it. Then, another very typical Catalan dish, this is escalivada, slow roasted vegetables with anchovy. It's very weird, but be open minded. You eat it with the skin? Yeah. The problem with a lot of these cultural places and these really beautiful markets is that if too many tourists go to the market, the locals stop going there. And if the locals stop going there, then it loses the entire character of the market and the reason that people would go there in the first place. So yeah, it's kind of tricky because you want to promote a market and you want people to go there, but you also don't want tourists going, too many tourists going there and ruining it. Welcome to El Tai. 
So for our next stop, we are going to try some traditional Spanish ham and they're just preparing it here behind us. Spanish ham is one of my favorite types of meat and I'm really excited to try this. This is the best one, I think. Yeah. This is serrano ham. This is 50% iberico, fed with grain and free range. And this one, 75% iberico, fed with acorn and free range. Here you can see the different types of ham and the prices. So the absolute best ham is 239 euro a kilo. And you've got 209 euro a kilo, 159 euro a kilo, 89 euro a kilo. And the serrano ham then is just 25 euro a kilo. food tour it costs 69 euro per person it lasts four hours and that includes everything all your drinks all your food and you are gonna eat so much food you are not gonna to want to eat for the rest of the day each, each restaurant has their own recipe for the sauce yeah so it's going to be different from the ones yeah. that you tried yes. thanks we are finishing the tour here at Racombalesque famous gelateria here in Girona so this is the gelato shop of the smallest of the Roca brothers, Jordi Roca. And we'll be heavily inspired by Willy Wonka's shop around it where he serves the most inspiring flavors. Please come here, welcome to Rocamole. We're here at Rock on Balesque, which is the most famous gelateria here in Girona. It is owned by one of the Rocca brothers. You can see it here behind me. So I've opted for one of their most traditional um, offerings, which is a bread bun with ice cream inside and three different toppings. So I got like berries and nuts inside. The ice cream is kind of melty now. There is loads of berries. Tastes like heaven. Mm. Oh my god. You have to have one of these. So the last time I was in Girona, I had the nose, the famous nose ice cream. And this time I had the brioche, and I can tell you the brioche is definitely better. <laughs> 